And now a nine, a Phoenix family mourning the loss of their beloved sister who was killed during a home invasion last week. Police say the suspects forced their way into the home, fired multiple rounds, and then fled the scene, leaving the family without justice. Fox 10 Stephanie Bennett joins us live with more. Steph. Yeah, the family say the whole ordeal has just been heartbreaking. It's been almost a week since this shooting happened, and they don't have any details about who was in the house when the shooting happened and who the other person that was in the house was shot. They have not released the identity of that person just yet, and Phoenix police have not provided any new details either or even a suspect description. We're missing her so much, and we hope that she finds her light and she's resting in peace. Her death was very tragic and she did not deserve it. Marlene Estrada preferred not to show her face as she is still mourning the loss of her little sister, Destiny Hernandez, who was brutally murdered at the young age of 19. They say it was a case of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Very young. She had a whole life up ahead of her. Estrada remembers the good times with Destiny, known as Tiny, to her family. She says she was funny, adventurous, and loved to dance. She was uplifting others. She cared for everyone. She put her everyone before herself. She did the best makeup, pedicures. She did it all for my grandparents. It all happened last Wednesday night around 1120 near 83rd Avenue and Broadway. Detectives say multiple gunshots were fired after the suspects forced their way inside the house where Destiny's boyfriend lived. Destiny died on scene and a man inside the home was also shot and taken to the hospital. Police have not released his identity. That's so frustrating and that's really what's killing us right now. We can't seem to come to peace. We don't know nothing yet. Her family is desperately searching for answers as they still don't know who was at the house when the shots went off or who fired them. We just want the story. That's all we care about right now is to find out how our baby girl, you know, left us and if hopefully we can help to get justice, then that's the goal. The family has set up a GoFundMe to help pay for funeral expenses. We're going to have a link to that on our website. For now, Phoenix police are asking anyone with information to get in touch with them directly or contact Silent Witness at 480-WITNESS. Reporting live tonight, Stephanie Bennett, Fox 10 News. Steph, thanks.